You've already written your story in Microsoft Word. Now you're going to illustrate it using the Keynote program. Once you open Keynote, you're going to see the Theme Chooser. You're going to choose one of the themes on the very top row, none of the themes that have graphics in them. I'm going to choose the plain white theme, and you're going to make sure your slide size is 1680 by 1050. We want it really big. We want it to be full screen. So we're going to choose that size, and then you can hit the Choose button. Now, once you do that, it is going to open up a very big slideshow. So um, in the lower left corner, we can zoom out a little bit, <coughs> maybe to about 50%, to make the slide smaller while we're working on it. But it's going to be bigger when we go to present it. Then you can drag the lower right corner of Keynote in so it's easier to work on. So you want Keynote open, and you also want your story open at the same time. Um, when I'm ready to add a new slide, I'm going to click the plus button in the upper left corner of Keynote. So now I have two different slides. You can see there are text boxes in there. Before I go even further, I'm going to save my project by going up to File, Save As. And then I want to call this, uh, I want to name this with my last name. And if there's more than one of you, you can add both of your last names with a space in between them. Okay, so now I'm ready to start creating my title slide. On my first slide, I can just click where it says double click to edit, and I can just start typing. So I'm going to type my title. And then in the subtitle, I'm going to type my name. And now I want to add some color and some graphics to it. Um, in Keynote, I can add shapes by going up to the Shapes box at the top. And if I pull that down, I have all different types of shapes I can choose from. I'm just going to choose a plain old box. It's going to add a box here. I'm going to um, stretch that box out so it fills the entire slide. Okay, And then I want to change the color of it. So I'm going to need to open up my inspector, which is the blue circle with a small eye in it. The inspector is going to open up. It looks like this. And I want to make sure I'm in the graphics section, which is the shapes. And for the fill color, I'm going to choose to do a color fill. And in the color fill, I can click on it. And maybe I want kind of a watercolor just to, as my opening theme. Okay. And then my text disappeared, as you probably noticed. In order to get that back, I want to take my box and move it behind my text. So I'm going to go up to the Arrange tool and choose Send to Back. And there's my text. Um, now you don't really need too many more graphics just on the opening slide. Um, but I'm going to add, I'm going to show you um, how you can draw your own shapes um, using Keynote. So I'm just going to draw a shape, let's say, of a shark. I'm going to go to the shapes again, and instead of choosing one of the preset shapes, I'm going to go down to the pen tool. And it's telling me how to do it. To draw a shape, just click. And then you click again and click again, and you want to go all the way back to where you first started. So let's just say I'm going to click and click and click and click. And I'm just going to do something like this. And it's not a very good shark because you don't have a lot of options with this pen tool. But it's um, good enough just for my title slide. And then I do need to click back to where I started from. And that will close that shape so that now I can go to the fill color and choose a fill color for it. I want something probably a little more gray. And then, of course, I want to move that not all the way to the back, but backwards one step, and then send backwards again. And I'm done with my title slide, and so now I want to resave it and go on to my next slide.